gentlemen, once again, this is the main event. This will be up to three five-minute rounds. Also, this is a championship fight. The winner is fighting for the vacant Dragon House middleweight belt. These two fighters weigh in at 185 pounds. We only do three over here. In the blue corner. Yeah, we only do three. <laughs> 35 years old, fights for Team Fight Corps in Martinez, California. His professional mixed martial arts record is 19 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. Justin the Rock! His opponent in the red corner, 36 years old, fights for Alonzo BJJ in Fremont, California. His professional mixed martial arts record is 11 and 7. Mauricio Alonzo! Your referee for this fight is Ed Colantes. Gentlemen, you received your rule in the dressing room. Any questions, Red? Any questions, Blue? Touch them all. Let's go. Here we go, championship fight, Justin Baseman versus Mauricio Alonso. So I know Mauricio is pretty good on the ground as far as I was told. To say the seen, least. To say the <laughs> least. And I'm being very candid when I say that. On the other hand, I know Baseman is a pretty decent stand-up fighter. Very, very good hands. Very, very good unorthodox kicks. as yeah. well. I mean, his strikes comes from all angles. Spinning heel kicks, spinning back fists flying knees. I really love watching Baseman fight for that reason. You know, and he's a grinder when it comes to the stand-up. His fights go, I've seen a couple of his fights go to the di go the distance, and they were dog fights the entire time. Oh, yeah. Look for Alonzo to look to take this fight to the ground. That is where he wants to be. And like you said, Baseman opening up with kicks, inside leg kicks, outside leg kicks, landing him. And again, this fight's at 185 pounds for the championship belt at Dragon House. Right away, you can see the size difference. I mean, Alonzo is so much bigger because he is, he belongs at middleweight. While Baseman has spent some time at welterweight, spent some time at middleweight. So exactly. Alonzo is going to have the strength and size advantage. And I believe Alonzo fought for the 170 belt for Dragon House before against Zach Busha. Right, right, for right. For the first championship, right. for the first champion at that weight class in Dragon House. It didn't quite go his way, but it was a very competitive fight. Yes, it was. Good knee by Baseman. This clinch game is where I like to see Baseman because he has such a good clinch game with his knees. And it's pummeling. He has really good control. He is going to make it a dog fight. I mean, that's the type of war Baseman wants to be in. I've seen him stretch out fights and, and win decisions. So I can expect him to try to do the same with Alonzo. Very interesting leg kick as Baseman had his back turned to Alonzo. Yeah. You can see the speed advantage by Baseman. He is a smaller fighter, but he is the faster fighter thus far. You know, like you were saying earlier, Baseman does have an awkward style with, with his stand-up because he'll sit there in the pocket with you, but then at a moment's notice, he'll jump out and move, stick, move, and then stand back in the pocket. So you really don't know what he's going to do. Nice switch body kick thrown by Baseman. Very fast and untelegraphed. And Alonso catches Baseman with the 
Seems to be a right hand after they went for that Superman punch. Good Ooh, leg nice kick by Lonzo. Good roundhouse by. He really turned his hips into Lonzo. that kick. I want to see Alonso go for a shot. I want to see him get take Baseman down. I feel like that's where he's going to win this fight. Oh, there he goes. Back right away. Instantly throws the hooks in. This is not where Baseman wants to be. Alonso right flags him out. He's in trouble. This is not good for Baseman. He's going to hold on to the gloves or do whatever he has to do to prevent being choked out in this position. Alonso needs to dig his hips into Baseman and arch his chest up into the air. And there he goes. He got one hand free. He's got it across Baseman's face. And there he goes. He's inching it slowly but surely. Let's go to soften him up. This is not good for Baseman. He needs to get up. Baseman needs to go for something, whether he, he has to army crawl forward to get out of this position or try to build a base. But that's easier said than done with a big and strong jiu-jitsu fighter like Alonzo on top. Baseman needs to do something. He can't stall out forever. And he's just going to eat punches here. And again, Mauricio flattens him out. Alonzo almost ha has him in like a power half position. Almost it looked like, like he almost position. had the forearm under. And that's a, that's a rough round to call because Baseman was clearly winning the stand up. But Alonso with the takedown and the control on the ground, I kind of want to say you want to give it to Alonso for the first round. I, I would definitely give it to Alonso as well. He uh, he secured a top position and, and got on a back mount at the end there. And uh, if it wasn't for the bell, he probably would have threatened to finish the fight. So I would give it to Alonso. I couldn't agree more, Brady. Go. Second round of the main event here at Dragon House 23. Nice leg kick landed by Baseman. <laughs> Baseman's so funky, he's jumping at Alonzo. I think Baseman needs to be a little bit more cautious on his striking that he throws because if he turns his back to Alonso, Alonso's going to do the same thing and whip him around and take him right down and take his back again. And kick for kick they go. Alonso lands a nice roundhouse leg kick. You know what? I don't think we gave enough credit to Baseman for surviving that first round. I mean, it, it was a sucky position for him to be in, but we do got to give him the respect for surviving that. No, that for onslaught. sure, because because of how good Alonso is on the ground, for him to be able to, to practically stalemate him out on the ground, it was a smart move by Baseman, knowing that he he wasn't gonna. He was a strong. He's a strong competitor on top. What can you do? Baseman is kicking real low, almost at the calves, so Alonzo does not catch the kick. Nice interesting, body interesting body shot. Barely misses with that Superman punch. Spinning back fist lands by Baseman, dro drops Alonso. Alonso looks very timid right now. Oh! 
Good double leg defense by Baseman. Nice knee to the head. We have ourselves a fight, people. Nice leg kick. Alonso being cool, calm, and collect, considering that he got tagged pretty good with that spinning back fist. Really whips into that leg kick. We see some blood by the left eye of Alonzo. Good body nice shot by Alonzo. And Alonso stock up. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Exactly what you were talking about, Robbie. He he got a little funky, and Alonzo capitalized and went for the takedown. This is Alonzo's time to Easily. shine. Oh, there we go. He's, at least Baseman's got him in a closed half guard at the moment to hopefully keep him at bay. But we don't know how much time is on the clock, and you can't sit there and run it out. Being the strong jiu-jitsu competitor that Alonso is, he seems to be almost trying to bully his leg out of there instead of being technical about absolutely, it. Absolutely, absolutely. He's looking to pass the half guard of Baseman. But Baseman doing a good job keeping that half guard closed and keeping him at bay. I want to I see Baseman get an underhook and use that to get up. At least scoot right the side. hips out and throw that wizard in. Yeah. Stand up, maybe even try to use the cage to walk out. He does not want to give this round to Alonzo. This was the most success he's had in the fight thus far, and he cannot let Alonzo run away with the second round. Referee Ed Colantes watching very carefully for any foul play. But it's just a high contact sport. And Alonzo passes into side mount. Not a good position for a baseman right now. Let's see if Alonzo can do anything from side control here. He's raining down punches. Punches. They're nice, small, short punches. Yeah, not much range of motion. Ooh, a but a big knee to the body. Ten seconds left on the clock. I think Alonzo stole this round, Robbie. What do you think? You know this this second round is going to be hard to call just because that baseman did, I would say, drop Alonso in that second round with the spinning back fist and took control of the striking. But again, it's all about how the judges are going to score that takedown. You know, yeah. some fights, they don't judge the takedown as harshly as they do a, a straight jab. So we'll see what they say. Here we go, the third and final round for this championship bout. Baseman had a lot of success early in the second, but it was Alonzo who secured the grappling exchange. And again, I just want to see Baseman not get so wild with the striking because as we can tell from the last two rounds that when he does get wild, Alonso capitalizes and takes him down. Yeah. Baseman with a leaping right hand. Yeah, as you said, wild for the lack of a better term. Alonzo looking to set up his takedowns with his jabs. Ooh, nice, big leg kick from Alonzo lands on Baseman. This is where Baseman doesn't want to be. He needs to he needs to disengage and the step back. Exactly. That's the funny thing. He instigated this clinch, Robbie. I mean, maybe he's looking to show a takedown or some clinching abilities of his own. There we go. The dissing there we go. I 
I mean, this is just nice a tough fight. We also. have a very unorthodox, good striker versus a very high-level grappler. And uh, thus far, it looks like Alonzo's winning this fight. But who knows? I'm, I'm not a judge. I'm just here to commentate. And again, this is going to be one of those fights that's going to be, oh, and Alonso eating that leg up. About four leg kicks in a row. Oh. Alonso has had enough. He's looking to finish this fight right here. Another one. Wow. Another Just big to chop his leg knees down by Alonso. Getting crazy with the almost gets him taken down again. So with the return, kick for kick. Baseman was swinging for the fences there. He's got to do something. I feel like the way Baseman's going to catch Alonso is by doing something crazy, which I said he shouldn't. But I feel like it's going to be something caught with like a spinning back kick, spinning back fist, something, you know, or a turning side kick, something yeah, you, crazy. You never know, man. I've seen him drag out tough decisions and end up victorious before, so who knows how the judges have this fight scored. And another leg kick landed by Alonso. I think Alonso realized every time he's doing those leg kicks, they're landing. Baseman with another leaping right hand. Just brutal leg kicks by Alonzo. Oh, and a nice body shot by Baseman with that front switch round. Baseman's nickname is the Raw Deal, and you can see why. This guy is one tough cookie. A jumping front kick. Nice. Kick that lands right on the stomach of Alonso. What did I tell you, Brady? What a fight. And that is our main event that here at Dragon fight. House. In the Dragon House middleweight division in the red corner, Mauricio Alonso. The new Dragon House middleweight champion, Mauricio Alonso.